U.S. President Donald Trump has followed up his promise to solve probably all of the world's problems with the help of China by offering to mediate the intractable dispute in the South China Sea. Meanwhile, the 71-year-old president has hit out at North Korea's Kim Jong-un, believed to be 33, on Twitter, complaining about being called old. Why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old, when I would never call him short and fat? Trump tweeted on Sunday. Oh well, I try so hard to be his friend, and maybe someday that will happen. Mr. Trump arrived in Hanoi to begin meetings, before flying to the Philippines to begin the ASEAN meeting and East Asia summit. At the start of his meeting with Vietnam's President Tran Dai Quang, he said he was prepared to act as mediator between claimants to the South China Sea, which include Vietnam and China. If I can help mediate or arbitrate, please let me know, Mr. Trump said. I am a very good mediator and arbitrator. The U.S. president, who expressed his great friendship with Chinese President 11 Jinping in the early stage of his Asia tour, acknowledged in Vietnam that China's position on the South China Sea, nearly all of which is claimed by Beijing, was a problem. Vietnam and the U.S. have grown increasingly close in recent years as both countries fear Chinese ambitions in the South China Sea. Mr. Trump's offer comes ahead of Chinese President 11 Jinping's attempt to woo Vietnam on the issue in a state visit. China and Vietnam have been in dispute over Chinese island building in the South China Sea, and Vietnam's sudden halt to gas exploration in July after a Chinese threat. Vietnam has lobbied ASEAN countries to take a tougher stand against China as the regional group negotiates a maritime code of conduct. At the last ASEAN foreign ministers meeting, the US and Australia were lobbying on the sidelines of ASEAN in support of Vietnam, calling for the code to be legally binding. China bridled against interference by outside countries. The South China Sea dispute will be one of the major issues at the East Asia Summit in the Philippines this week. ASEAN meets with China and the U.S. early in the week ahead of a joint meeting with the leaders of nations including the U.S., China, Japan, Australia, India and Russia. The U.S. conducts freedom of navigation exercises through the South China Sea. The Hague rejected China's territorial claim to the maritime area in 2016 and found in favor of the Philippines, but China rejected the ruling. China and the Philippines, the ASEAN host, have since sought to resolve their dispute. But the mediation offer did not make him too busy to start a Twitter war with the hermit leader of North Korea. In recent days, North Korean state-run media has taken to referring to Mr. Trump's age. The Majajasa newspaper said in a commentary last week, the U.S. must oust the lunatic old man from power and withdraw the hostile policy towards the DPRK, North Korea, at once in order to get rid of the abyss of doom. While Trump may claim to want a closer relationship with Kim, only last week he told South Korea's parliament that the dictator has turned North Korea into a hell that no person deserves. In a stinging attack on Kim, he reeled off a litany of alleged human rights abuses and calling him a deranged tyrant presiding over a cult. The previous day Trump appeared to temper his often fiery rhetoric toward North Korea, instead calling for it to make a deal on its nuclear and ballistic missile programs.